Mama came to see me. It's her first time and she tried to explain to me why she hasn't been here before. But she didn't have to. All you had to see were the tears running down her face and the whole story was there. I wanted to show strong for her to let her know that she didn't have to cry for me. The visitor's room was crowded. We tried to speak softly to create a kind of privacy with our voices. But we couldn't hear each other even though we were 18 inches away from each other, which is the width of the table in the visitor's room. I asked her how Jerry was doing, and she said he was doing all right. She was going to bring him tomorrow, and I could see him from the window. Do you think I should have gotten a black lawyer, she asked. Some of the people in the neighborhood said I should have contacted a black lawyer. I shook my head. It wasn't a matter of race. She brought me a Bible, and the guards searched it. I wanted to ask if they had found any salvation, grace, or maybe compassion. She had marked off a passage for me and asked me to read it aloud. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart entrusted in me. I am helped, therefore, my greatly rejoiced, and with my song will I praise him. It seems like I've, like you've been here so long, she said. Some guys in here have done a whole calendar, I said. She looked at me puzzled and then asked what that meant. I told her that doing a calendar meant spending a year in jail. She turned her head slightly and turned back to me. The smile that came across her lips was one that wrenched from someplace deep inside of her. No matter what anybody says, she rushed across the table, put her hands on mine. And pulled back, thinking a guard might see her. No matter what anybody says, I know you're innocent, and I love you very much. And then the conversation was over. She cried silently. Her body shook with sobs. When we left, I could hardly make it back to the cellular era. area. No matter what anybody says, I lay down across my cot. I could still feel Mama's pain, and I knew she felt it do anything wrong. I lay on the cot by myself, wondering if I was fooling myself. Monster, coming August 19th, 2013.